I got the gun. Hello, dog. Yes, this is weird. Good morning, and welcome to Coffee with a Kick. This show, uh, unlike my other show, Coffee with Santi, is less about talking about mental health and issues going on in everyday life. This is about kicking people in the face. In this show, uh, I wanted to talk about movies, uh, specifically action movies. I tried experimenting with a couple of different formats for this show. I tried like writing things down and like writing jokes and, and doing like video essay stuff, but I realized that most of the time when I like write things down or like make a script, um, I tend to come across as being like really ungenuine or really snarky, uh, and that's not what I want to do with this show because I want it to be about a thing that I love, which is action movies. So if you'll excuse the cheesy as hell background, uh, which is my like Mad Max shrine, as well as my DVD case, uh, because I have nowhere else to film this. But yeah, so um, I originally had planned a couple of different movies that I wanted to talk about today, but um, I ended up not really like having a clear plan for any of them, because as you may know, uh, while you're in the midst of watching this, the world feels like it's on fire. Coronavirus has taken the world by storm, quite literally, and uh, everybody's freaking out. And while I definitely do not blame people for freaking out, I myself have freaked out, um, it kind of really distracted me from what I wanted to do. But this entire situation has kind of reminded me about why I like movies, and specifically why I like action movies. Action movies have this particular thing about them that I love, which is this idea that like, no matter sort of what situation you're in, no matter, you know, what's facing you, there's uh, something to be done about it. You see this a lot in like, uh, specifically like superhero movies and fantasy movies, but action movies kind of have this idea, even though it's, it's sort of cranked up to the nth degree in terms of violence, action movies kind of convey this idea that no matter you know, what situation you're in, no matter what you're facing, as long as you sort of have the determination and the will to do something about it, something can be done. And I feel like, you know, in the midst of sort of this big crisis that we're facing as a people and as a planet, as countries and communities, there is something comforting about a movie or a series of movies where people either band together or band behind one person and stick to what they believe in in order to get something done. And there's also a particular power uh, at this point in the world um, where escapist fantasy sort of has a really big part to play. Because I feel like when we're faced with odds that seem impossible, a lot of people I feel like don't want to turn their brains off and just like forget about it. But there's a lot of people like me who become so overwhelmed and sort of so wrapped up in everything that taking an hour, an hour and a half, two hours to sort of live in a different world can sometimes be really healing and like really helpful. And even though the movies that I'm gonna mostly talk about here are uh, <laughs> violent, there is still something escapist about them. There's sort of a fantasy in action movies and amongst the violence that's cartoonish but is also comforting in a way that you can kind of forget about the subtleties of it, right? Because it's just like Keanu Reeves stabbing a man with a pencil. And you're sort of allowed to kind of give yourself over to that and, and be absorbed by it. Which I think is like a powerful thing when you're in the midst of something that seems so insurmountable. There's something powerful about giving yourself up to a piece of art for just a little while and kind of letting it wash over you. So uh, I apologize that this video is going to seem a lot more like my regular show than it normally would. I promise in the future there will be more research involved when we're not facing a global pandemic. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, I make them uh, all the time. So if you wouldn't mind leaving a like down below, maybe subscribing to my channel, um, checking out the other shows I do here. But otherwise, I will see you next time. Uh, keep kicking. Thank you.